Well, hey there, YouTube fellow silver stackers, silver pourers, silver enthusiasts, AG and you're with you here today. Thank you for stopping in to see what's going on. I'm going to do a little how-to today, at least my method for taking care of these 10-ounce bars. I do have a little silver left here in the dish from yesterday, just, I don't know, a quarter ounce or so. But I'm going to show you what I do to melt these down since... I don't like to cut them. I don't have anywhere to keep the shavings in one spot, but I do have torches and map gas, so that's how I do it. And I just pour into smaller molds so they're more manageable. And I'll get a couple of these molds on the hot plate and then go ahead and get some pours done. Maybe leave the video running for a bit and use some time lapse. There's an app I've got that can set up that so we'll see how that works this time around but for now I'm gonna get a little bit more ready and come right back so I will see you in a moment okay so we're pretty much ready here just have to turn the torches on we'll see if this mold holds up I did break it you see the line there we'll see I might get one more pour out of it before it gives up for good but we will find out so Set that there on the hot plate to warm up. Get these molds ready. I don't think I had another small mold. Not oh, I do. That's right, the angel shield. So I'm gonna rearrange these a little bit and try and get this warmed up as well. That should do it. So fire up the torches here. I do like to use two torches. I tend to get better results in the heat department since two torches, twice the heat. It may not quite be twice the heat because it blows some of the heat around, being two torches blowing air around in flames. And after this torch here, it's pretty much empty. So bear with me a moment. Let me change out this tank. how well you can see that. Actually, let me adjust the camera here a little bit. Move this over. And now you can get a view of the silver. I don't know if that will help or not. Yeah, a little bit. So, this is probably about the time I'll start to time lapse and speed things up so you're not just sitting here for the next half hour or however long it takes to do this usually not quite that long these usually only take five ten minutes to get to the point where I can do something with it a lot of the time I'll wait till about half of it melts and then use my pliers set that bit aside and pour that because once I start getting in the six, seven, eight ounce range, it's tough to keep that molten long enough to actually pour and have it be useful without being a real pain to get melted again in the dish where it's all spread around the sides. What I think I'll do also is put one more mold up here to pour into it. See if this one gives out on me or not being broken. And we'll see how this turns out. Not bad with a few of those, so I'll kind of readjust and come right back. So here's kind of what I was talking about when you don't quite get everything melted enough. It kind of becomes a pain to remelt because you don't want it to drip more over the side and lose it. So you kind of got to try and go slowly. It does take a little practice to not lose it. 
But that's also another reason I use the cast iron bit is for the pan here. I can keep it all pretty much inside and the, it doesn't stick to the cast iron. There it goes. It's starting to melt there. You can kind of see it there. Not as well as I'd like to show you because it's just too bright for this camera. And there's probably at least an ounce in here that didn't melt, or was melted but didn't stay melted, and come right back when it's ready to pour something else. So just about got it all melted here back into a pool. I think I will put that other piece in right there. You saw the dish shake. That's where the weight shifted. So I will grab this and melt a little bit more of it. I'd like to try and get two quick pours here, but like you saw in the first one, it is tricky to get two pours or three or four when you're trying to pour it down. You're trying to keep it all hot at the same time you're trying to pour it, so it's, it's kind of tricky. You do get used to it a bit, but never completely. Try and get a little bit more in there. I'm going to do the Angel Shield and the Mario Star next. I did actually have somebody who wanted a couple of just random two ounce pours, give or take the two ounce frame. So we'll see how these turn out. But I'll get that other, the rounds and the bars here back up here in a minute and pour some more of those. And that kind of turns into my version of Silver Shot. That's ready now. Let's see if we can get a full pour this time on the Angel Shield. That's nice. And we'll go ahead and drop that in the water. Put it back on here. And we might have just enough for my for the small shield. A little stuff inside. Try this small shield here real quick. It does appear that there's enough, but we shall see. There's a bit here on the edge of the dish. That's something else you kind of want to look for. Trying to save all the silver you can. There we go. And also, especially on the last fours here, pour quick. Because not like you're just dumping it wherever, but once you decide you're going to pour it, follow through with it, don't stop, or you're going to have silver cooling before you're ready for it to cool. There we go. There's a bit of gunk on there, but that'll knock off. I'll knock that off of there, and all these pieces I'm going to tumble later tonight since they're smaller pieces, but... There's that, so I will see you shortly with a wrap-up for today's little kind of how-to and what the effort produces. So hold tight. So I did want to come back here real quick just for one of these mummy casket pours. Still just kind of making smaller silver, not a bit silver, but I wanted to show this one too. A little wet, but didn't turn out bad at all. Nice lines here on the back, so that'll tumble out real nice. But again, I just wanted to jump in and show that. I'll be right back with the wrap up. Hold tight. Well, I wanted to jump back in one more time, real quick, and looking at my molds and thought I'd do one of these dragon skull rounds also, so I'll show you that for real quick.
Okay, looks like it's ready. So on the first one, I kind of did what I talked about earlier, not doing. I went a little bit too slow. So I'm going to try and pick up the speed a little bit on this board, but not too much where it's flashing. That looks better. That filled the mold up nice and kind of round, more of an oval shape. And pour the remainder into the small ones. Let's show you the slide around real quick. And you see this here, I do have, even though the maze did give out, I do have the other little bar to do. So, there is that one. So again, we'll get these all cleaned up. I don't know if I'll weigh them and stamp them yet today. I'll do that another day once I get them all run through the tumbler. But for now, I will catch you on the wrap up. So, see you soon. So, here we go. Here's what I ended up with for the day and evening my again version of shot none of these actually ended up getting stamped I ended up running them probably through the tumbler too long and lost the pour lines but I will hang on to these at least to the weekend try and get this video up here as soon as possible since this is Wednesday now and I didn't make this video on Thursday but you can see Kind of how worn out all the pour lines are compared to, say, something like this one that I did a couple weeks ago. Or the one I did even Saturday when I was trying out the new mold. I didn't leave it in the tumbler as long. You can still see it's not quite as defined as a typical pour. And even this one I probably left in a little long, but it's strong enough here on the top side that it shows through because I wanted to get this little spot of flux out of there but on to like I said what I did the other day a couple of these basically I did two of everything except the two bigger ones you see there and most of these everything I did in the way of these shields or the hexagons they're in the one and a half to two and a half ounce range Here's a little bit better view of what I was talking about, how how faint those pour lines are. Same with this hexagon here. So some of these may get re-poured. Like I said, I'd like to have them with a little bit more definition. But then again, the smooth looks good too. Like I said, if anyone likes anything they see, I can stamp them and send them out. So you've got until the weekend to let me know. I do have four more of the 10 ounce bars to melt down eventually into something this one's definitely being remelted again i had this in the tumbler quite a while and it didn't take off any of this these are just pieces are just too big to take off there and then these are just little rounds no big deal and little tiny rounds little tiny bars that like i said i was just pouring these to pour them and get them out of the way this one i didn't even, didn't even bother to throw in the tumbler because I tried to more do a loaf out of this and it just kind of flattened out on me. It didn't, it's not a deep enough mold to where it really gets you that good loaf look. So, this one is most likely definitely being redone. I also did one of these dragon skull rounds. And again, the tumbler pretty much took away all of the pour lines. A little bit here on top, but everything else is pretty much gone there. Which honestly may not be too bad. I could probably polish this up real shiny if I felt so inclined. Or again, somebody wanted that nice and polished. And of course, the mummy here in the casket. Both of these are in the three ounce range. I haven't weighed honestly either one of them because I'm going to wait until I ran them through the tumbler, then get them weighed and stamped, and possibly even remelted into something else, maybe even into the same thing again. So, anyways, I'm starting to ramble. I will get this out ASAP, hopefully 
by at least Thursday night so a few people have a shot to take a look and see what I have here available but for now that will do it thank you all once again like shares comments and subscriptions all greatly appreciated and I will catch you next time AG Ender signing off have a good night